no one can help Sussex. UK MP plans legislation to strip Harry royal titles he will lose everything. Prince Harry Meghan Markle, this comes after the release of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary. A Conservative MP said that he is planning to bring forward legislation in an attempt to strip Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, of their royal titles. Bob Seeley said that he could propose the short private members bill early next year in an attempt to amend the 1917 Titles Deprivation Act. If passed, it would see MPs vote on a resolution that could give the Privy Council the power to downgrade Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal status, Guardian reported. There is a political issue. As well as trashing his family and monetizing his misery for public consumption, he is also attacking some important institutions in this country, Bob Seeley said. However, bills put forward by individual MPs that lack government support rarely secure votes needed to pass through Parliament. The Tory MP asked why Prince Harry continues to use the titles while at the same time trashes the institution of monarchy and his family. This comes after the release of the couple's Netflix documentary. Labour MP Rachel Maskell already has a bill going through Parliament that would give King Charles new powers to remove titles or a committee of Parliament to determine that a title should be taken away. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle come across as two juveniles without a grip on the real world, an ex-US politician says. Former Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, Newt Gingrich has given his own opinion on the Harry and Meghan Netflix docuseries he got drawn into watching. Writing for Fox News, Newt said he and his wife sat down in front of the telly and watched the self-pitying, whining and cringe-inducing explanations of how marrying into a monarchy had brutalized Meghan. His interpretation of Harry's complaints meanwhile were those of a man unable to accept that he was born second to an older brother groomed to become king. Mr. Gringrich said, I felt I was watching two juveniles who simply could not come to grips with the real world. The series exposed several royal revelations including claims from Harry that Prince William screamed and shouted at him and King Charles consistently leaked stories to the press. It also saw Meghan admit she wasn't prepared to meet Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Sussex hint that men in his family hadn't married for love. The columnist also shared his skepticism at the amount of footage of themselves the Duke and Duchess had recorded ahead of securing a mega money Netflix deal. He continued, it is a little suspicious that they just happened to have so many hours of home movies. It made me wonder if they had been planning this TV extravaganza for a long time. There were reports almost as soon as they resigned from their royal duties that they had signed a $100 million, £83 million, contract with Netflix. Of course, the series explains why they need the money. Staying in a 22-acre estate in Los Angeles, ensuring enough security, traveling in private airplanes, all these aspects of the simple life add up. Newt then couldn't look past Meghan's background performing on camera and failed to buy any of her emotions in the series as genuine. As I watched the series, it became clear that Meghan was a professional actress, he says. She delivered her lines, occasionally had a tear and paused at the right moments for the right amount of time.